1-800-259-9231. Your chance to talk to Miss Oklahoma, runner-up in Miss USA. Morgan Elizabeth Woolard is our guest for another segment. And I've got some final news I want to hit on the financial front with world markets collapsing all over the place uh, in the last segment today. Uh, again, thank you for joining us, radio listeners. I want to go to calls, but I also want to talk about uh, you in the future. Uh, I mean, you're intelligent, you're smart, you're a constitutionalist, you're for states' rights. Uh, you've been punished for standing up for your rights, even if you won't you know, stand up for yourself. But I think that's, you know, in a way admirable that, that you're not being, you know, a spoiled sport. But it's not a spoiled sport if you were cheated. But, uh, again, uh, discretion is the, uh, you know, uh, greater valor, I guess uh, they say. But, but where are you planning to go from here? I was telling you during the break, you ought to write a book about this and interweave in there your political views. Well... That's a loaded question. Oh, my goodness. So much to say there. I have been incredibly blessed with being given numerous options from here. You know, the Miss USA pageant, just exposure itself is a blessing, especially if you want to be in the media. And so I'm very thankful for all the opportunities that have come my way because of this pageant. Um, I'm already getting offers, you know, within the broadcasting world, modeling world, acting world hosting, anything of that nature. So I think right now I just need to decide what's best for me in my future and take a risk and go a direction. And I also need to finish my education as well. I'm, I'm getting close but not quite there yet, so hopefully I can find a way to pursue finishing my education and starting my career at the same time. Well, let me just, just, just inject this. There's a lot of anchors on on uh, television like Peter Jennings that, that, you know, that don't have degrees and I would strike while the iron's hot. You can always go back to college, but right now you're smart, you're talented, uh, you're well-spoken, uh, you're beautiful. I would get into the media, and I would take every opportunity you've got right now because I'm not bashing college and education. That's fine and dandy. Uh, it's just that Bill Gates, Rush Limbaugh, uh, if you look at the statistics, over 90% of the top CEOs, media people, you name it, didn't go to college or quit college because they were already go-getters. By 20 years old, right. halfway into college, they already had opportunities. Same thing with me. I was 21. I had about another year and a half of college left. I, I'd already gone and gotten a radio show locally, and I was sayonara. But, but, again, I'm just saying strike while the iron's hot. Strike while you're in the spotlight because you could argue, due to that controversial question and your controversial answer for some, you almost got more attention than the lady that won Miss USA. So at, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if they stole the crown from you because you still win. <laughs> yes, you know, it really is a win-win situation. I'm incredibly blessed, and I'm, again, so grateful for all these opportunities. So you're getting a lot of offers right now, acting, TV, you name it. Just dive in with both feet. You name it. Now, you know, I think the hardest part is just figuring out which route to take. Because, of course, you want to do what's best for you. You want to do what's best for your future and, and um, take the bull by the horn and, you know, make the right decision. And I think that's the, the place I'm in at the moment. Well, let me give you some advice. Don't sign anything. Try a lot of different things uh, because Hollywood TV, it's full of a lot of flim flammers, a lot of talkers. Yeah. Uh, but just, you know, I would go with the big companies or established companies. Uh, who can give you bona fide money at the you know at the bottom because they'll sit there and string you along to see where your career's going you know uh, so I mean again I would just hit the ground running and try a lot of things out and that's why I'm warning you because most people won't do this college especially when you're already being launched and propelled uh, you, you can always go back and do the college you can't always get this advantage you've got right now you can't always get the present back right and that's, you know, that's kind of another position I'm in in regards to being in between a rock and a hard place because both of my parents are within the medical field and they're all about education, education, education. And so um, for me, I just need to find a place or relocate to a place that I can pursue both at once. That's the way to do completely it. Completely that you need to take advantage of things while they're hot and, you know, when they're in front of you, you got to grab them otherwise life might you know pass you by so when, when things are hot and in front of you you gotta grab them <laughs> that's a good quote from miss oklahoma <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so you could go to Chicago, <laughs> New York, L.A., places like that. Okay. And uh, Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just agreeing. Well, listen. I've been a big city. Absolutely. Well, uh, before we go to Eric, Chris, Mike, and others with uh, Miss Oklahoma, the Patriot, uh, who we just love to death, give us uh, uh, some of your other views on the Second Amendment or on uh, have, you, have you heard all these world leaders calling for global government and that we need to have the private central banks running things? What's your view on Ron Paul? I think Ron Paul is a wonderful man, and I agree with him on a lot of stances. I'm, I've always been a bit of a constitutionalist myself. And I believe in limited government and liberty and rule of law and all those wonderful things in America. <laughs> self government, self governance, that kind of thing. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, again, while we've got you here, uh, where would you like to see our republic going? I mean, are you can have you heard them talk on the news about forming this world government? Um, world government? Do you? By that, do you mean giving the government more power? Well, you've got Ban Ki-moon, the Secretary General of the U.N., Herman von Rumpy, the head of the EU, the outgoing Prime Minister of England, uh, Gordon Brown, Al Gore. Uh, the heads of the G20 are calling for a global government to set worldwide taxes. Uh, and, and I was just asking if you were concerned about that. Well, I'm definitely concerned about that. I've always been for limited government and... Um, being able to be your own keeper and having self-government and, you know, making something of yourself and not relying too much on the government for that. And so I'm definitely against big government in the world. <laughs> well, I tell you, I wish you were Miss USA, <laughs> somebody to really represent our country. But you are representing our country. Thank you. And, and, and people just appreciate that, 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 that you didn't sell out your values I mean, you had to know, though, when he asked the question that, I mean, did it run through your head? Well, if I give the politically correct answer, he's going to like that. Or are you just such a patriot that there wasn't even a question? Well, truthfully, in that moment in time, you don't have time to think. You just go with what you know. Exactly. And, you know, I know who I am. I know what I believe and why I believe it. And with that said, it was easy for me to answer. I didn't have to think twice about it because... That's who I am, and that's how I was raised, and, you know, I, I stood firm in that. Well, that's why people admire you, not just for your beauty or, uh, you know, the electric uh, presence, but, but, but uh, you know, the mind that powers it all.